Welcome back to Squawk Box. Uh, we just had February CPI data coming out uh, just as expected, up four tenths of one percent. Take a look at the futures. They've moved higher, about 286 points higher on the Dow. NASDAQ up about 134 points. The S&P 500 up about 43 points. Surat Sethi is here. He's a managing partner and portfolio manager at DCLA, as well as a CNBC contributor. There's really only two questions to ask you, Surat, which is, what do you think of the CPI data? And then, what do you think of what the Fed has done with the banks, and will it hold? So I think in the first part, I think these were actually pretty decent numbers, uh, Andrew. We needed to see some slowdown uh, in the inflation data, because if we had seen it the other way, then we would be at this cross current of, hey, what is the Fed going to do, you know, given kind of where the economy is? So I think the data show that things are slowing down. We've seen it. Uh, you saw United last night pre-announcing. You're seeing other oil coming down. So, so that is showing the lagged effect of what the Fed is doing is working. Now, what the Fed did uh, with the banks, they had to. Every time you raise rates so fast, and history will tell you, something is going to crack. And you talked about it this morning. Today was part of the banking system, the regional banking system. But at the end of the day, Andrew, we're going to need the banking system. Just like when oil went to zero and people said, hey, we don't need oil in the future, we're going to need a banking system. They're going to be winners and losers. In the long term, there's plenty of opportunity here. I think we just have to get through this period where confidence is the key. And well, I think but that's the, Fed the question. Did was the and right then the thing question is up. you talk about the Fed breaking things along the way. Do they raise? How much do they raise in the context of recognizing that we now have a regional bank, bank system and smaller banks uh, that may be exposed in ways that we didn't appreciate just a week ago? So I think the Fed has to relook and see what what have they done so far. And, and probably they will raise 25 and at that point look back and say, hey, we did put a backstop on these banks. Let's see what happens. And I think with the data coming in, showing that things are slowing down, the confidence in the economy is kind of what people are looking at. In the long term, you're going to make money in the stock market. We're going to have these hiccups. History will tell you the Fed does not stop raising as soon as something happens, but they'll probably at the tail end. We're in the eighth and ninth inning of this now. And the question is, where do we go from here? Are there banks that you want to own right now? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you look at the really strong banks like a J.P. Morgan, a Bank of America. We own those. Morgan Stanley, they're not really. In fact, they're getting more deposits. Morgan Stanley is a wealth management business. So there are other areas there that I think you can make money in. And also there are some of these other banks that I think are just being thrown out just because you've got that negative halo effect. Right. Now. Who's so, on that list for uh, you? I mean, you look at other... So, I mean, we don't own it, but, but Schwab has been thrown out, and Schwab's, you know, structurally a very strong bank. I think you're going to be fine there. Uh, and then you look at some of the other, you know, American Express. So what, why is that stock down? That, that has nothing to do with what's going on here. So I think you've got companies, people, a lot of the hedge funds short it or they just sell the index. And I think at the end of the day, there is money to made here, made here in this sector. What do you do about big tech at this point, given that, that we have... So many both viewers and just the American public at large, which is held on to so many of these stocks. Yeah, Andrew, and I've said this before, long duration assets here, some of the big tech, you've got to be very careful of valuations. And it's kind of ironic that, that money moved into some of the big tech because that was kind of the safe investment. I'd be careful there. I think some of the valuations right. there are definitely extended. There are some really good companies there. Right. But be careful. You have opportunities in other parts of the market, but long term, we're going to make money. We got to jump. This Explain this one on the screen. You probably can't see it. Bitcoin now over twenty six thousand dollars. What do you think is happening? Uh, it's a risk on play. I mean, people are saying, "Hey, listen, we can go back into Bitcoin. It's going to be safe to be held at certain institutions." Uh, I think that's a very different part of the market. That's the more kind of, I would say, higher risk market of the market. And again, be careful there because just like when you put capital. You should be diversified and know what the risks are. So expect volatility, especially in Bitcoin.